Nadal continues historical pursuit against Silic. Nadal leads the pair's FedEx ATP head to head 5 to 1. It was a historic resurgence in 2017 for Rafael Nadal, who became the oldest player in history to finish atop the ATP rankings, claiming the year end top spot for the fourth time in his career at age 31. But the top seed can make more history at Melbourne Park as he tries to become the first player in the Open era to win all four Grand Slam titles twice, which he can finish off with a win at this Australian Open. But the Spaniard will have his work cut out for him in the quarter-finals against one of the other two Grand Slam champions left in the draw, number 6 seed Marin Silic. View FedEx ATP head to head for the following quarterfinals matchups at the Australian Open and vote for the players you think will win. Dimitrov v Edmund, Nadal v Silic, Federer v Burdick. I know I'm going to have a tough opponent in front now, in Silic. I need to play aggressive and play well. That's what I'm going to try, Nadal said after a four set win in the fourth round against No. 24 seed Diego Schwartzman. All the matches are tough. And if you are in the quarterfinals of a Grand Slam, you can't expect an easy match. Against Marin will be a tough one, but at the same time, it's a beautiful match to play against a great player. We know each other. The pair have played six times, with Nadal leading their FedEx ATP head to head series 5 to 1. The world number one has triumphed in each of their past five meetings, winning 11 of those 12 sets. Throughout my career, I knew that if I'm playing well, if I'm top of my game, that I can challenge most of the guys on the tour. Silic said after his own fourth round victory when asked about facing a tough opponent like Nadal, I believe in my own game, I believe in what I'm doing. I think I'm moving the right direction. You know, it's obviously a big challenge playing them. But that's what we also work for in training. Nadal defeated Silic twice last season, with both matches coming on hard court, Acapulco, Shanghai. But with that being said, both players have proven to be in good form in Melbourne. With the top seed dropping just one set thus far and the sixth seed only losing two sets. But Nadal says that playing a tough opponent like Silic is not all that different from other matches. Whomever I play today is the most dangerous player that I can play against. Because they are the one that I'm going to play today, Nadal said. You may also like Nadal still finding firsts in 2018. Silic is as dangerous as they come in the quarterfinals of a major, though. Having won the 2014 U.S. Open and advancing to the final at Wimbledon last year. The Croatian has a powerful baseline game accompanied by a booming serve to trouble anyone in the world when he's on form. And he is hungry for more success, too. My goal in this year is to win a Grand Slam. One or more would be good, said a smiling Silic. Last year I reached number 4 and number 5, finished season at the number 6 in the ATP rankings. You know, it could have been in top 5, as well. But looking at this year, my goal is to finish in the top 5. It's a big challenge but I'm improving every single year. That's a challenge that I want to succeed in. His first major challenge in pursuing that goal will be across the net on Rod Laver Arena. Tuesday, when he faces Nadal for a spot in the semi-finals. More stories like this in.